Hello everyone. So I thought I'll probably uh, you know, share with you that uh, I am setting up a new VPS. Yes, I still use VPS. I am not really on uh, Amazon for my hosting needs yet, but uh, I was uh, not sure which distro I should be using. Now I have always, always for a very, very long time used uh, CentOS, but uh, we all know about CentOS and I was on CentOS 7 and uh, also on 8, I believe. But uh, uh, I had to purchase a new VPS because uh, the site, one of my site, uh, which I'm upgrading to Drupal 10, it needs a PHP version 8 point something. And, my, and on my other server where my sites are hosted, my usual sites are hosted, PHP is still unfortunately uh, on version 7 because uh, I can't really mig like migrate or upgrade yet, although I'm in a process of doing it. But I had to select uh, and uh, do some research uh, on the operating system, on the distro. Now, I searched for, of course, you know, CentOS alternative and uh, I found two alternatives. Uh, the first one is called as Rocky Linux. And the second one is called as Alma Linux. Now, to be honest, based on my research, I think they are both okay. So I guess in case you are watching this video, maybe you are looking for uh, some answer. And uh, if you do your own online research, you will of course find a lot of reasons that will uh, be in favor of Rocky Linux. There will be a lot of other reasons in, in favor of uh, Alma Linux. For me, to be honest, I don't really mind uh, which which, uh, I mean, I was not really able to figure out and I don't really mind choosing either of those. So I decided to pick Alma Linux. Alma, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, uh, I have been using it since uh, this morning because I was setting up my server, I was installing LAMP, uh, everything is great. And the main reason I believe why I used Alma Linux was because uh, it gets a lot of frequent uh, updates. So by the way, both of these uh, distributions, they are uh, like CentOS uh, Red Hat based. So you will not really have any problems with uh, the you know issues that you might face. You'll, you can of course ask questions. You can search on Google. You can search on Stack Overflow. I, based on my experience since morning, I don't really think I made a bad decision. I was able to set up Apache, MySQL, not MySQL, MariaDB, and PHP all very smoothly. And it was exactly like uh, how it was on uh, my other CentOS based uh, servers. So that is it. I thought I'll probably you know, share it with all of you. And in case, let us say if things go wrong, let us say today if you select Elma Linux or Rocky Linux and after six months or two years, you have to make a switch. It's not a big deal, right? I think uh, switching a server is not really uh, a major concern because it is not that complicated, right? And uh, of course, if you have your backups, if you are uh, uh, good in system admin stuff, you can always migrate to another server. So maybe after three months or four months, if I have to switch to Rocky Linux, I can. So that is why I'm not really bothered. And uh, for me, instead of spending time like looking at endless online forums, I just uh, picked one reason, like frequent updates, because Alma Linux was on Lin was on uh, version 9 and also on 8. Rocky Linux was on 8. I, I, I don't know the, the exact difference, but uh, I was able to figure out that Alma Linux gets frequent updates. And that is why I thought, okay, let us pick it up. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.